C4S's presential 10 important questions from teaching aptitude in the NDNet Paper 1. In a classroom, probability of message reception is enhanced by establishing a viewpoint. In a classroom situation, the teacher, through establishing a viewpoint, it is very easy to receive the output from students. So, message reception can be enhanced the establishing a viewpoint. The spatial audio reproduction in a classroom can reduce the students' cognitive load in understanding. Spatial audio or surrounding noises like tapping the desk or knocking on the blackboard will make mental disturbance to the student in the classroom. The interaction between a teacher and students creates a sort of proximal development. Sound of Proximal Development or SPD is the concept developed by Lev Vygotsky and it is defined as the range of tasks that a child can perform with the help and guidance of others but cannot perform independently. Thus, in a classroom situation, teacher provides a helping hand to achieve this. From the list given below, identify the learner characteristics which would facilitate teaching learning system to become effective. Choose the correct code to indicate your answer. Options Prior experience of learner Learner's family lineage Aptitude of the learner Learner's stage of development Learner's food habit and hobbies Learner's religious affiliation Answer Prior experience of learner Aptitude of the learner Learner's stage of development You need to know that neither his food habits, religious affiliation nor family will influence the teaching learning system. Which of the following is a key behavior in effective teaching? Instructional variety Effective teaching strives to motivate and engage all the students in learning. Thus, giving them variety of instructional objectives, teacher can enhance behavior changes in the pupil. Internal and external factors that affect message reception by the students in the classroom are referred to as Answer is noise. Noise is a barrier of classroom communication which increases stress and leads to negative feedbacks. A teacher in a classroom has immediate control over the self-selected methods of communication and the message any modification or changes that can be can be made immediate by themselves rather than other factors or even communication channels G given a assertion and a reason you need to choose the correct answer from the course given below assertion teaching aids have to be considered as effective supplements to instruction reason they keep the students in good humor. Answer is, both assertion and reason are true, but the reason is not the correct explanation of A. That means, teaching aids cannot keep students in good humor throughout the teaching learning process. The purpose of formative evaluation is to accelerate students' learning performance. Formative evaluation is conducted during the teaching learning process in contrast to summative evaluation which is conducted at the end. Thus, formative evaluation motivates students and accelerates them in learning performances. The last question, which of the following learner characteristics are likely to influence the effectiveness of teaching aids and evaluation systems to ensure positive results? The answer is learner's maturity level, academic performance level, and motivational dispositions. Learn all these 
factors influence effectiveness of teaching aids and evaluation systems to ensure positive results in teaching learning process. So thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos.